Prince Harry has been issued an apology from the BBC after they used a neo-Nazi group's image of him with a gun and branded him a race traitor. The shocking image appeared on BBC Online and the News at 10. The picture, which showed the Duke holding the gun to his head, was supposed to illustrate an investigation into far-right extremism. The image was captioned, See you later race traitor. Prince Harry complained that the use of the photo raised security concerns and was distressing for his wife, Meghan Markle, who is mixed race. Broadcasting watchdog of Common the BBC originally rejected the complaint, as they said it was in the public interest. As a result of the investigation, two neo-Nazis were jailed. However, the BBC has now apologized for not warning the Duke that the image would be broadcast in December 2018. The BBC said in a letter to the Royal that they would now be more vigilant before using offensive material in the future. Prince Harry's spokesman accepted the apology but said the BBC has ultimately given a platform to something that would have only been seen by a few. A BBC source said, this was an important piece of journalism. We regret the distress caused so we apologized for failing to warn the palace. However, Harry's spokesman said their choice to publicize the image allowed other media organizations to then reproduce it. The spokesman said, His Royal Highness welcomes the letter from the BBC relating to the shocking image published by BBC News last year as part of a report on the activities of a British neo-Nazi group with links in the US. His Royal Highness raised the issue with IFCOM about the rebroadcasting of this racist image due to his concerns that hateful and dangerous propaganda had been spread globally by the world's most important public service broadcaster. Due to the credibility of the BBC, their choice to publicize this material created an open door for all other media to reproduce it. Prince Harry was the only person to complain to IFCOM about the issue. After the BBC report, the creator of the horrifying image was sentenced to four years and three months in a young offender institution. It comes as Meghan and Harry are set to visit Africa on their first royal tour next month. The tour will be of South Africa where they will take their four-month-old baby Archie Harrison. Although the couple have been abroad with Archie this year, they are yet to embark on a royal engagement abroad with Archie. The couple are set to arrive in Cape Town, South Africa on Monday and stay until Wednesday. However, there is a special reason the couple are visiting South Africa. According to a statement from Buckingham Palace, the trip is at the behest of the Foreign and Commonwealth Office. But the trip also holds significance for Prince Harry as he will be visiting Huambo, the same place his mother Princess Diana visited and spent time with landmine victims. The BBC has apologized to Prince Harry after using a neo-Nazi group's image of him with a gun to his head and calling him a race traitor. The picture appeared on BBC Online and the News at 10 to illustrate an investigation into far-right extremists. It was captioned see a later race traitor, suggesting Harry should be shot for marrying someone of mixed race. The Duke of Sussex, 35 complained that its use raised security concerns and caused distress for wife Meghan. Broadcasting watchdog of Common the BBC rejected the complaint, ruling it was in the public interest. Two neo-Nazis were jailed as a result. But the Beeb has now apologized for not warning him the picture would be broadcast last December. He said in a letter to the Royal it would be more vigilant before using offensive material in future. Harry's spokesman welcomed the apology but said the BBC had given a platform to something that would have only been seen by a few. A BBC source said, this was an important piece of journalism. We regret the distress caused so we apologized for failing to warn the palace. The BBC has apologized for failing to warn the Duke of Sussex before broadcasting and publishing online an image from a neo-Nazi social media group that called him a race traitor and depicted the royal with a gun pointed at his head. The image, published on BBC Online and broadcast on News at 10, was a stylized collage from an online post on a far-right platform, which also included blood splatter and a swastika, and was captioned, See you later race traitor. Hashtag race traitor. It raised serious security concerns for Prince Harry. Advertisement. 
Both the BBC internally and the broadcasting watchdog of COM rejected a complaint by the Duke, ruling that the use of the image in a report about the activities of the group was clearly in the public interest. However, the BBC has now apologized for not warning the Duke and Duchess of Sussex before broadcast and online publication in December last year. The corporation said it recognized that before publishing seriously offensive material we need to be vigilant in balancing the impact on individuals against the wider good which may be served by publication. In a letter to Harry, the BBC also said it had committed to strengthen its guidance on the use of content that poses risk of offense to the individual portrayed. Harry's spokesperson said, His Royal Highness welcomes the letter from the BBC relating to the shocking image published by BBC News last year as part of a report on the activities of a British neo-Nazi group with links in the US. His Royal Highness raised the issue with IFCOM about the rebroadcasting of this racist image due to his concerns that hateful and dangerous propaganda had been spread globally by the world's most important public service broadcaster. Due to the credibility of the BBC, their choice to publicize this material created an open door for all other media to reproduce it. While welcoming the BBC's apology, Harry did not agree with the decision to broadcast the image. His Royal Highness maintains that instead of reproducing the image and giving a platform to something that would have only been seen by a few, it should have been described so that others would not potentially be influenced by such an inflammatory image. The spokesperson said. The BBC online article, which investigated the activities of Sun and Krieg Division, reported, one image suggests that Prince Harry should be shot for marrying someone of mixed race and exclaims see you later race traitor. The BBC reduced the size of the image online the following day, and removed it two days later. The corporation said the image had been removed because public interest in the article had reduced. Harry was the only person to complain to have come about the issue. After the BBC report, Mihaus Zuczyk, 19, from Leeds, who created the image, was sentenced. Oskar Dunkochs Orozki, 18, from Chiswick, West London, who admitted two counts of encouraging terrorism, was sentenced to an 18-month detention and training order. The Duke had complained to the BBC that publication of the image fell below the generally accepted standards as to harmful and offensive material and there was insufficient justification to warrant the publishing of the image, given that it had been created by the group to incite criminal action. The BBC did not uphold the complaint, maintaining publication was in the public interest. Ofcom also did not uphold the complaint ruling there was clear public interest in conveying clearly and impactfully the offensive nature of the group's messages and that it was editorially justified. Harry later discussed his concerns with the BBC's Director General, Tony Hall. Prince Harry has spoken out on racism on several occasions. In an unprecedented statement when news of his relationship with Meghan Markle became public, he criticized racial overtones in reporting. Earlier this year he said unconscious bias. An IFCOM spokesperson said, This image was highly offensive, but in our opinion, its inclusion in the article was editorially justified as it was used to condemn and illustrate the racist group's activities, which was in the public interest. A BBC source said, This was an important piece of journalism which led to the arrest, conviction and imprisonment of two members of a neo-Nazi group. The image of the Duke of Sussex was included to show the abhorrent nature of their behavior and IFCOM has subsequently concluded that there was a clear editorial rationale for using the image which, in the context of the news report, was considered unlikely to incite crime. Naturally we regret the distress caused and we apologized for failing to warn Kensington Palace in advance that it was to be published.